Hello everyone, I'm going to share with you what I believe are symptoms of keto flu. If this is way off in the future and you find this video has been taken down, that's because I didn't reach the promised land. If it's still up, then it means that I have gone through keto flu, come out the other side and it was all worth it. So um, I am doing this now because believe it or not, this is me looking much better than I did before because I was dressed to go to a party. We got halfway there consider it's the other side of London so a good hour and a half away um, and we had to turn around and come home so before I take all this off get my pyjamas off and get into bed and look horrific again um, I look like something out of Michael Jackson's thriller earlier and I'm not much better now you see so so basically I have blood sugar my blood sugar's higher than I'd like it to be and now it's turned out that I have I'm sorry I'm really really runny nose um liver function issues as well which has got to be retested I've taken the bull by the horns um, I'm somebody with Crohn's disease as well so that's why I share these stories it's not to be negative or moany or give me some attention it's to share these experiences so if you're someone that goes through it then you can figure out if you know that's what it is or if it might be something else or as always, if you're concerned, go and consult with your GP. But when I searched up keto flu, because it was only because somebody said to me about, oh, there's something called keto flu. Sorry. Um, and I searched it up and they, they, they list about five symptoms most commonly. And they are quite loosely written. And some say you actually do feel like you've got the flu and as if you could die. Right. Well, mine started off, um, first of all, and please here at here at here whatever the tmi warning here um the first thing i noticed was a clearing from my bowel area and i'm going to tell you how it was because if that's you and you think oh it sounds like what i had it was incredibly pungent with the smell which is really unusual for me for someone with crohn's disease i never get that and it was a very strange color almost like a greeny tinge to it um so apologies for that let's move on it's not good it doesn't, doesn't get any worse than that um so that was that and that continued for a few days um and the reason we've come home tonight is because i'm back there again which is strange because it kind of eased off and it's come back as you can probably hear i'm very very nasally i've i've rubbed makeup all down here see it's like thriller um i very nasally i have no cough which is great hopefully i won't it started off with my ear blocking up and i'm somebody that always suffers with ear problems and um, there wasn't any ear infection it was just all blocked up and it was all kind of closed up both of them very closed up and i had this itchiness in my eyes as if i've got hay fever and my nose and i haven't had itching inside my mouth but my whole kind of face and that i just feel itchy i've also got i don't know if you can see because i put loads of makeup on these dark marks here and here and I did read somewhere that that can sometimes be sign of um, liver issues but I also heard somewhere that sometimes people get that when they've had too much sun and I used to get a mark here as well when I've been in on the sun beds so maybe that's to do with that I'm not really very sure um, so yeah, I've got nasal, I had a sore throat, um, itchy, I had a giddy feeling, but it was in the back of my, sort of the bottom of underneath my occipital bone, top of my neck, that's gone this afternoon, but it was so bad that I didn't think I could walk up the stairs, um, sleep, sleep for England, sleep, 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 so all I want to do all the time is sleep, um, I can't lift my arms up above my head to do my hair or anything, because they just feel like there's no blood in them, they feel dead, and I mean, yeah, all right, I may have a virus, but I'm somebody, see, now my, my eyes are going to stream now. I'm somebody that never gets colds or coughs or anything. And part of me only today has said, um, so I'm not crying, it's just it's coming. And part of me today has said, is this all going to be worth it? Um, and I still believe it will. I'm still feeling quite positive because I think my mindset feels better. I feel happier in my mind. Um, God streaming eyes it's mad um so yeah my mindset feels better and uh i'm really positive that this is clearing out junk out of my system and if it, if that's what it's doing then thank god it's coming out um, um what else do i need to tell you i was going to tell you that like i had a couple of days up 
a couple of days in, I felt amazing. I felt fantastic. And then I've taken this decline. Um, like to give you an example, if I had to go to work today, I would be off sick. And I'm never, ever, ever, ever off sick. Um, so I just basically had a duvet day again, which is really weird. My children can't get their head around that. They're still asking me to do things. And I'm like, I can't. I'm not well enough. And then I tried to go out tonight and I was really really tried to cheer myself up i did to buy eyebrows i've done my roots i had a bath all of that was a massive effort but in the hope that i would get to go and now everyone else is at the party and they've had to bring me home um but i am going to keep focused and keep positive so i don't know if you're somebody that's suffering with keto flu in case you don't know what i'm talking about I probably should have explained that at the beginning keto flu is the research i've done it says when you um, are converting your stored carbohydrates, no, not converting, you've used up your stored carbohydrates and now you're starting to, to use fat for energy, your fat that's on your body and in, around your organs. It's called keto adapted and it's that place between starting keto diet, which is low carb, high fat, which is very good for blood sugars. It seems to be kind of medically... Uh, that's the medical thumbs up, you know, it's very good for blood sugars. Um, so in that period between then and then, when you're using that restored glycogen and everything that's in the liver and starting to use fat, it's that period in between when your body's adjusting. But I believe there's a detox element to this um, with myself. I don't know if that's usual for other people as well. I need to get over it because, um, yeah, it's not going to be long before um, <laughs> I'm going to feel great. I don't think I'll give in. I think I will stick to my diet, but today, <sighs> so sorry, today I haven't felt like eating or drinking anything, um, even water, because that's what my my other half said to me, he said, are you drinking plenty of water? And I said, no, and he said, that's not like you. I said, no, I just don't feel like I can stomach it. It's a little bit of nausea there. I wouldn't say that's my main symptom. Um, so heaven help me. And I wanted to do this now while you can hear it, you can see it. And like I say, this is the best I've looked all day imagine what that was like before um what a catch i am for my chat my chat um if you're going through it then leave me a comment down below let me know how it's all going i wish you the very best of luck and try and stick with it because there's just hope you know we can get there and we could be amazing for it all right thank you for watching this video and um, please come back really soon for a more chipper more upbeat maybe cooking and i'll speak to you soon bye for now